Have you ever found yourself standing at a crossroads, surrounded by fog, with each path looking equally uncertain? Maybe you're there now, in a season of life, where the way forward is hidden, and the answers you're searching for feel just out of reach. It's in these moments, when the map of life seems to have more questions than directions, that we often find ourselves asking, where is God in all of this? Welcome to our journey today, where we explore the reassuring promise that even when we feel lost, God is not just a distant observer, but a guiding presence, leading us through every twist and turn. This video is a beacon for all who wander in the shadows of uncertainty, a reminder that you are never truly alone. Our path today winds through stories of faith, moments of doubt, and the unwavering truth that in every season of confusion, there's a guiding hand at work. We'll delve into scripture, drawing on the timeless wisdom that has lit the way for countless believers before us. And we'll hear real-life stories of those who stood where you stand and found their way through the wilderness by holding fast to their faith. Whether you're seeking direction in a personal dilemma, wrestling with life's big questions, or simply longing for a sense of peace amidst the chaos, this video is for you. So, let's embark on this journey together, open our hearts to receive, and discover how God guides us step by step through uncertainty to a place of peace and purpose. Feeling lost often begins with a heaviness in the heart a sensation that weighs down every step and thought. It's like standing at the edge of a vast, fog-covered forest, not knowing which path leads home. Your mind races with questions without answers, creating a whirlpool of confusion and doubt. Physically, this turmoil might manifest as a tightness in your chest, a lump in your throat, or a restlessness that keeps you pacing at night. Emotionally, it's a cocktail of fear, frustration, and longing, a deep yearning for clarity, for direction, for a sign that you're on the right path. This disorientation isn't just about losing your way. It's about searching for a beacon of hope in the midst of uncertainty. Sarah stood at the crossroads of her life, the office building behind her symbolizing a career she had dedicated a decade to yet no longer felt called to pursue. The recent loss of her father had plunged her into a sea of grief, leaving her to question the very fabric of her existence and the purpose of her relentless toil. Each morning, as she prepared for work, a mirror reflected back the image of someone she barely recognized, someone caught between the pursuit of societal success and the deep, aching desire for something more meaningful something soul-stirring. Her heart, once full of ambition and clarity, now harbored a tumultuous storm of doubt and spiritual unrest. Is this what I'm truly meant to do? She'd whisper to the empty room, hoping for an answer, any answer that might quell the roaring uncertainty within. The decision to leave her job to step into the unknown in search of a life more aligned with her authentic self, felt akin to stepping off a cliff without knowing if she'd fly or fall. This wasn't just about changing careers. It was about finding faith in a plan unseen, trusting that the pieces of her shattered certainty would, in time, come together to form a path that led her home. Acknowledging the tumult of feeling lost is crucial. It's the first step out of the shadows and towards the light. Like admitting you're in a dark room before searching for a switch, recognizing these emotions illuminates the need for guidance. It's a vulnerable admission that you're at a crossroads, unsure which way to turn, but it's also a powerful declaration of openness to change. This act of honesty with oneself invites divine guidance into the heart. It's the moment we lower our guards, look upwards, and whisper, I am lost. Lead me, that we truly begin to find our way. Acknowledging our lostness is not a sign of weakness. 
It's a beacon for help. A prayer that opens doors to new paths illuminated by faith and trust. In the quiet aftermath of acknowledging our deepest uncertainties, we stand at the threshold of transformation. It's here, in the silence of our own vulnerability, that we can truly begin to hear the whisper of faith calling us to look beyond the visible, to trust in something greater than ourselves. This pivotal moment marks the transition from relying solely on our own understanding to seeking spiritual guidance, to turning our faces upward and our hearts outward, embracing faith as our compass in the storm of uncertainty. The Bible, a reservoir of timeless wisdom, offers solace and direction in moments like these. Matthew 7, 7, 8 encapsulates this beautifully saying, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, it will be opened. This promise serves as a beacon of hope, illuminating the path for those who feel lost. It reassures us that in our seeking, we are not alone. Our efforts to find direction and purpose are supported by a divine presence that guides us towards fulfillment and clarity. Embracing this promise requires faith a leap into the unknown, trusting that we are guided, watched over, and loved, even when the path ahead is obscured. It's in turning to faith in our moments of uncertainty that we open ourselves to the profound guidance and assurance that only the divine can provide. Throughout the Bible, we find countless stories of individuals facing uncertainty, their narratives rich with divine guidance and perseverance. These stories not only offer comfort, but also serve as powerful examples of how faith can navigate us through our darkest moments. David, before becoming king, faced immense adversity and uncertainty, notably during his time in the wilderness. Pursued by King Saul, David found himself in desperate situations, yet he never ceased to seek God's guidance. His faith in God's protection and the psalms he composed during these times, such as Psalm 23, reflect a profound trust in God's provision and guidance, even when paths seemed perilous and enshrouded in shadow. Esther's story is another beacon of courage and faith of uncertainty. Chosen as queen in a foreign land, she found herself in a position to save her people from genocide. Despite the risk of approaching the king unbidden, which could have led to her death, Esther's faith and bravery led her to fast, pray, and ultimately act, showcasing how trust in God can embolden us to take steps that seem daunting leading to deliverance and victory. Joseph's life journey, from being sold into slavery by his brothers to becoming the second most powerful man in Egypt, is a testament to God's guiding hand through trials. Despite false accusations and imprisonment, Joseph's steadfast faith in God's plans for his life allowed him to interpret dreams and save nations from famine. His perseverance through uncertainty highlights how maintaining faith can lead to unimaginable outcomes, turning despair into hope and leading us to our divine destiny. These stories of David, Esther, and Joseph not only illustrate God's unwavering guidance in times of uncertainty, but also inspire us to seek, listen, and trust in that same guidance today. In today's world, God's voice may not thunder from the heavens, but He communicates with us in profound, yet often subtler ways. Prayer stands as a direct line to the divine, a conversation where we speak and, more importantly, listen. It's in the quiet moments of prayer that many find clarity amidst confusion, receiving peace or insight that steers them through uncertainty. This divine dialogue reminds us that God is both a listener and a speaker, ever-present in our lives. Community, the fellowship of believers, 
serves as another vital channel through which God speaks. Through the wisdom, support, and love of others, walking a similar spiritual path, we can see God's handiwork and guidance reflected in their words and actions. Proverbs 27, 17, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another, captures the essence of how our faith and understanding can grow and be shaped by the community. The Holy Spirit's prompting is a deeply personal form of communication, often felt as a nudge or a still, small voice within, guiding us towards our next step or offering comfort in moments of despair. This internal guide can help discern our path when crossroads appear, offering reassurance that we are not navigating life's complexities alone. Recognizing and trusting these promptings require a heart tuned to the divine frequency cultivated through prayer, scripture, and openness to the spiritual. These contemporary mediums, prayer, community, and the Holy Spirit are ways God continues to guide speak and reveal his will to us, ensuring we're never truly lost, even in the most uncertain times. Discerning God's voice amidst the cacophony of our daily lives is both a challenge and a spiritual skill honed over time. First, God's voice often aligns with scripture. It never contradicts his written word, serving as a compass that guides us towards love, truth, and righteousness. Immersing ourselves in the Bible helps us become familiar with the nature of God's voice. Second, God's guidance usually brings peace, even if the message is challenging. Unlike the anxious stirrings of our own minds, His direction comes with a sense of rightness in our spirit. Third, seek confirmation through prayer and the counsel of mature Christians. Their insights grounded in their own walks with God, can offer clarity and affirmation. Lastly, God's voice often leads us towards growth, service, and love. It encourages us to step beyond our comfort zones, always for our ultimate good and His glory. Learning to recognize and follow God's voice is a journey of faith, trust, and continuous growth. Actively seeking God's presence is a journey that enriches our lives in profound ways. It's vital to cultivate practices that draw us closer to Him. Daily prayer, not just as a ritual, but as open-hearted communication, reading and meditating on Scripture, allowing its truths to permeate our thoughts and actions, participating in worship and community with other believers, sharing in, the collective joy and strength of faith and practicing stillness, creating quiet spaces in our lives to listen for God's gentle whisper. These practices are not just acts of devotion, but pathways to a deeper, more intimate relationship with the divine guiding us through every season of life. Mark's journey through unemployment was a trial that stretched over a year a time filled with rejection and uncertainty. Yet, in this wilderness, he found an unexpected oasis, deeper reliance on God. Daily prayer became his anchor, transforming his despair into trust. Surprisingly, this season of waiting opened doors to volunteer work that reignited his passion for community service, leading to a job opportunity in a nonprofit organization that he had never considered, but perfectly suited his skills and desires. Mark's testimony reveals how faith can direct us to our calling, even through the detours of life. Emily faced a health diagnosis that turned her world upside down. The fear was overwhelming, but so was her determination to cling to her faith. Through nights of prayer and days filled with doctor's visits, she experienced a peace that surpassed understanding. Her faith journey became a testimony in her support group, inspiring others with her unwavering belief in God's goodness, regardless of the outcome. Emily's story is a powerful testament to how faith can carry us, bringing light and hope, even in the darkest valleys. Joshua's struggle with addiction led him to a breaking point, 
forcing him to confront his need for change and divine help. Turning to faith, he found not only the strength to join a recovery program, but also discovered a supportive faith community that walked alongside him. His journey from addiction to recovery is a testament to the transformative power of faith and the tangible presence of God in leading him step by step to freedom and new life. These stories of Mark, Emily, and Joshua highlight the profound impact of faith in navigating life's trials, offering clarity, direction, and hope through their deepest challenges. Trials, though daunting, serve as fertile ground for spiritual growth and deepening our relationship with God. James 1, 2, 4 tells us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. This passage encapsulates the transformative power of hardships. Facing challenges with faith turns obstacles into opportunities for spiritual maturation. The process of growth through trials is not about the absence of fear or doubt, but about the presence of trust in God's sovereignty. It's in the midst of struggles that we learn to lean not on our understanding, but on the assurance of God's promises. As our faith is tested, our relationship with God becomes more authentic. We move beyond superficial beliefs to a faith that is lived, breathed, and experienced in all its complexity and depth. Trials strip away our illusions of control, compelling us to surrender to God's will. This surrender, though it may feel like defeat, is actually a victory a step towards becoming more like Christ. It teaches us perseverance, molds our character, and ultimately brings us to a place of deeper trust and reliance on God. Through trials, we are refined and shaped, emerging not weakened, but stronger and more resilient in our faith. In moments when the path forward is obscured by the fog of uncertainty, the call to persevere in faith becomes both a challenge and a lifeline. It's in these times that we're reminded of the importance of not just having faith, but actively cultivating and nurturing it. Here are some practical steps to help you maintain and grow your faith, even when the way ahead isn't clear. 1. Join small faith groups. Engaging with a small, close-knit group of believers provides a space for shared experiences, mutual encouragement, and spiritual growth. These groups become a source of strength and a reminder that you're not walking this journey alone. 2. Regular community service. Serving others is a powerful way to manifest your faith in action. It not only helps shift your focus from your struggles, but also provides perspective and purpose. Through service, you can see the tangible impact of faith in the lives of others, reinforcing your trust in God's plans for you. 3. Dedicate time for prayer and meditation. Consistently setting aside time for prayer and meditation can fortify your spirit. It's in these quiet moments that you can hear God's whisper more clearly, guiding and reassuring you. 4. Immerse yourself in Scripture. The Bible is filled with stories of hope, perseverance, and faith. Regularly reading and reflecting on these stories can serve as a reminder of God's faithfulness and His promises to guide and support you. 5. Seek spiritual mentoring. Connecting with a spiritual mentor can provide guidance, wisdom, and encouragement. Their experience and faith can be a beacon of light during your moments of doubt. Perseverance in faith is not a passive waiting, but an active engagement with the practices and communities that anchor us in God's love and promises. Even when the path isn't clear, these steps can help illuminate the way forward, 
fostering a resilient faith that withstands the tests of uncertainty. Navigating the delicate balance between personal effort and reliance on God's guidance is a common dilemma in the life of faith. This balance is not about choosing one over the other, but understanding how they work in harmony. Scripture encourages us to act diligently, as seen in Colossians 3, 23. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. This underscores the value of effort and dedication in all we undertake, recognizing that our endeavors are ultimately in service to God. At the same time, Proverbs 3, 5, 6 instructs us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean, not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. This highlights the essential nature of surrender, acknowledging that, despite our best efforts, it is God who guides our steps and outcomes. The key lies in understanding that our efforts are an expression of our faith and stewardship of the gifts God has given us. Simultaneously, our surrender is an acknowledgement of our limits and trust in God's sovereignty. In practice, this means doing our utmost while continually seeking God's direction through prayer, being open to His guidance and ready to adjust our course according to His will. This approach allows us to engage fully with our tasks, while keeping our hearts and minds open to divine guidance, fostering a life of purpose aligned with God's greater plan. Nehemiah's story is a compelling example of blending action with trust in God's plan. Serving as the king's cupbearer, Nehemiah was deeply distressed upon hearing that the walls of Jerusalem were in ruins, leaving its people vulnerable. His initial response was one of prayer and fasting, laying the foundation of his actions in seeking God's guidance and support. Nehemiah's faith moved him to action, prompting him to request the king's permission to go to Jerusalem and oversee the rebuilding of the walls a bold step that required both courage and faith. Nehemiah's initiative did not stop at the planning stage. It extended to the execution, where he faced opposition and threats from those who wished to see the project fail. Yet, even in the face of adversity, Nehemiah's resolve did not waver. He organized the workers, implemented protective measures, and continued to pray and encourage the people to trust in God's provision and protection. His leadership exemplifies how faith and action are intertwined. His trust in God fueled his initiative, and his initiative was enveloped in prayer and reliance on God. The successful rebuilding of Jerusalem's walls under Nehemiah's guidance, completed in just 52 days, stands as a testament to what can be achieved when faith prompts action. Nehemiah's story teaches us that while we must take initiative and work diligently towards our goals, our trust in God's plan is paramount. It reminds us that prayer and action are not mutually exclusive, but are both vital components of living out our faith. Making decisions and stepping forward in faith requires a balance of spiritual discernment and practical action. Here are steps to navigate this process. Praying for wisdom. Begin with prayer, asking God for wisdom and clarity. James 1, 5 encourages us, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Prayer is not just about speaking, but also listening, being open to the guidance that may come in various forms. Consulting Scripture, dive into God's Word. Scripture is a treasure trove of wisdom, offering principles and precedents that can guide our decisions. 
Look for passages that relate to your situation or seek biblical stories of individuals who faced similar crossroads. Seeking counsel from trusted mentors. Surround yourself with wise counsel. Proverbs 15, 22 tells us, Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors they succeed. Seek out individuals whose faith and judgment you trust those who have walked the path of faith longer and can offer perspective grounded in experience and wisdom. Being open to God's redirection, hold your plans loosely. Be willing to pivot as you sense God's guidance leading you in a new direction. This openness requires humility and trust. Acknowledging that God's ways are higher than our ways. Isaiah 55, 9 Taking a step of faith, finally, take action. Faith is not passive. It involves stepping out, even when the full path isn't clear. Start with small, manageable steps that align with your prayers and the counsel you've received, trusting that God will guide each step. These practices rooted in spiritual discernment and proactive engagement. Create a framework for making decisions and moving forward in faith, always aligned with God's leading and wisdom. Peace, as described in Philippians 4, 7, is not merely the absence of conflict or turmoil, but a profound inner tranquility that surpasses human comprehension. It's a gift bestowed upon those who place their trust in God's sovereignty, even amidst life storms. This peace is not dependent on favorable circumstances, but is rooted in the unshakable truth of God's love and faithfulness. Understanding this peace begins with surrender, a relinquishment of our desire to control outcomes, and an acceptance of God's perfect plan. It's a recognition that, no matter how chaotic the world may seem, God remains firmly on the throne, orchestrating every detail for our ultimate good and His glory. This peace is not passive, but active, requiring an intentional turning of our hearts and minds towards God in prayer and meditation. It's a conscious choice to anchor ourselves in His promises trusting that his ways are higher and his timing perfect. In embracing this peace, we find rest for our weary souls, strength for the journey ahead, and a deep-seated confidence that nothing can separate us from the love of God. It's a peace that transcends circumstances, transcends understanding a divine assurance that no matter what may come, we are held secure in the palm of his hand. Cultivating inner peace is essential for navigating life's challenges with grace and resilience. Here are some practical spiritual practices that can foster a deep sense of peace. Meditation on Scripture. Set aside time each day to immerse yourself in the Word of God. Choose a passage of Scripture that speaks to your heart and meditate on it, allowing its truth to penetrate your thoughts and emotions. Reflect on God's promises, His faithfulness, and His love for you. Prayer walks. Take prayer outside the confines of your home or place of worship and into the beauty of nature. Go for a walk in a park, along a beach, or through a forest and spend time communing with God in prayer. As you walk, observe the wonders of creation and allow them to inspire gratitude and awe. Gratitude practice. Cultivate a habit of gratitude by intentionally focusing on the blessings in your life. Start a gratitude journal and write down three things you're thankful for each day. Expressing gratitude shifts your perspective from scarcity to abundance and opens your heart to receive God's peace. Mindfulness. Practice mindfulness by being fully present in the moment and attentive to your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Take deep breaths, centering yourself in the awareness of God's presence with each inhale and exhale. Sabbath rest. 
set aside a day each week for rest and renewal, following the biblical principle of Sabbath. Use this time to disconnect from work and busyness, and instead focus on activities that rejuvenate your spirit and draw you closer to God. By incorporating these spiritual practices into your daily life, you can create a sacred space for inner peace to flourish, grounding yourself in the presence of God and finding strength and solace in His love. As we journey through life's twists and turns, it's crucial to remember that every step, even those taken in uncertainty, is part of a larger divine plan orchestrated by a loving and sovereign God. Embracing this truth fills our hearts with faith and hope, anchoring us in the assurance that nothing happens by chance and that God is working all things together for our good. Even when the path ahead seems shrouded in darkness, we can trust that God's light will guide our way. His timing may not always align with our own, but His timing is perfect and His plans are far greater than we can imagine. As Isaiah 55, 8, 9 reminds us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So, as you journey forward, hold fast to faith and hope. Trust in God's timing, knowing that He is always at work, even in the moments when his presence feels distant. Each trial, each victory, each moment of uncertainty is part of the tapestry of your life, woven together by the hands of a loving and faithful God. May this journey be marked by a steadfast trust in God's promises, a resilient hope in his goodness, and an unwavering faith in his plan. And may you find peace in the knowledge that, no matter where the road may lead, God is with you every step of the way, guiding, protecting, and transforming you into the person He created you to be. As we come to the end of our journey together, I want to leave you with this thought, no matter where you find yourself today, whether in the heights of joy or the depths of despair, know that you are not alone. God walks beside you his hand guiding your steps, his love surrounding you like a gentle embrace. Even in the midst of uncertainty, his presence is your constant companion, offering strength, comfort, and hope. So, as you go forth from this moment, I encourage you to embrace the journey with faith and hope. Trust in God's timing, knowing that he holds the master plan and that every twist and turn in your path has a purpose. Take each step with courage and confidence, knowing that you are walking in the footsteps of the one who knows the way. And as you journey forward, remember to lean on your faith, draw strength from the promises of God, and find solace in the community of believers around you. Share your struggles and your triumphs, knowing that together we can lift each other up and bear one another's burdens. In closing, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on what we've shared today. What resonated with you? What challenges are you facing, and how can you trust God more deeply in the midst of them? Take these questions to heart, and allow God to speak to you as you seek His guidance and direction. Finally, I want to leave you with a call to action. As you continue on your journey of faith, I encourage you to seek out opportunities to deepen your relationship with God and to share His love with others. Whether it's through acts of kindness, prayer, or simply being present for someone in need, let your life be a testimony to the transformative power of faith. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. May you go forth with renewed faith, strength and hope, and a heart full of love. And may the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.